Welcome. As you can see, we'll be using the wall today. So hit pause if you need to, make sure your mat is right up against the wall, that you've got your yoga equipment around you, and let's meet in Sukhasan for seated meditation. Widening our sit bones apart, and nestling ourselves in so that we feel the inner edge of the sit bones on the blanket. The legs flowing down towards the ground, the groins releasing. Placing the backs of the hands on the thighs, the palms open to the sky, the elbows moving back as the chest starts to clear and lift, softening the throat, softening the jaw and closing the eyes completely. Soft, smooth inhalations and exhalations. Keep relaxing the groins, releasing the legs down, and lightly pressing into the backs of the hands to help lift and open the chest to the sky. And then lifting the hands and folding the palms together. Opening our practice with one arm. Inhale. Ooh. The chin lowering. And the brain surrendering to the heart. And then gently lifting the chin, releasing the hands back down to the thighs and opening the eyelids. And we're now in different space. All right, starting straight off with Arunga with our heels lifted and pressing back against the wall. Looking at your feet, try to lift the toes up and spread the toes apart and see how that both firms your connection with the ball of the foot and broadens the ball of the foot. Now looking at the front ankles with your exhale, push both front ankles back and feel the heels become firm. Over and over again, keep pushing the front ankles back, feeling the heels become firmer and firmer. And then see if you can feel how as the heels push, the walls push back into the heels. That Tadasana action. Both elements pushing against each other. Feel that energy rise up the legs. Helping us to lift the sit bones. to fully open the back of the knee. And then looking up and walking forward, bending the knees as you walk forward, one leg at a time, widen the feet, the width of the mat, so that in our Uttanasana, our back can also widen and broaden. So if your feet are too close, you'll get the elongation, but you won't access the broadness as fast. Relax the neck and head completely. Your eyes can see the kneecaps. Lift the kneecaps up. Feel the quadricep gripping to make the kneecaps lift up and continue the grippingness of the quadriceps all the way up the length of the femur bone, all the way to the very top where the femur comes into the hip socket. Keeping that firm and stable, pull with your hands to get the abdominal area closer to the front thighs. 
Re-relax the neck and head. And with each inhale, explore the broadness of the back, the left back, the right back. How can you broaden that shape from the inside with the inhale, creating new space, new freedom? And then releasing and coming to stand. Feet together. Lift the chest, lower the chin, down the banda. Deep inhalation, deep exhalation. Getting stable. And coming out. All right, so we're going to go into a pita the Outside edge of the left foot against the wall, remembering that the back of the heel really wants to be sure to press, to not come away from the wall. So you have to turn the back foot in a little bit and step the right leg forward, have distance. Grip the kneecap and the quadricep up. Push the front thigh muscle back to the bone and feel the back leg become steady. And then stretch the arms. Inhale, lift the chest. Exhale, reach. Keep gripping the legs in their respective fashions. Noticing when they drop, re-gripping, reconnecting. As you come down, placing the hand on the front ankle and stretching the left arm to the sky. Travel to the back leg now and find the curve of the quadricep on the back leg and iron it to the bone and push down into the outside edge of the foot firmly with that action. And then feel the wall pushing back into the foot and how that helps us to lengthen the waist, to go further into the pose. And then inhaling up. And releasing. Changing sides. So making sure that you're connecting with the outside part of that heel. Left leg forward. Having distance. Grip this kneecap up. Grip the quadricep up. And the curve of this thigh. Flatten it back to the bone and feel the outside edge of the foot connect even more. Stretch the arms. Inhale. And exhale, reaching, observing the quality of the legs as we come down. Re-gripping, re-ironing the curve of the back front thigh to the bone, feeling the outside edge of the foot firm the whole time. Firming it up, feeling the wall push back at us. What does that sensation bring? Use the stability of the wall to help turn the trunk more from inside the trunk, from the belly button, from behind the belly button, turn and twist from the bottom to the top, all of the organs gently turning, twisting, the legs steady, the outside edge of the back foot pushing and the wall helping us. And step, inhaling up and releasing. Aum Hands against the wall, thumb and index finger against the wall, inner elbows facing forward so that the shoulders are broad. Check the arms, check the state of the inner elbows, spire on the upper arms so the inner elbows face the wall. And then with an exhale, straighten the legs, keep the heels lifted as high as you can. So you're stretching the root of the toes when the heels are really lifted. Spread the toes, stretch into them. Now look at your knees, look at your front thighs, and with an exhale, push them back. And again, push them back. See how the side ribs are opening more now, the armpit area is opening more now. Relax the face completely. We keep all of the other alignments engaged and flourishing. Ah. 
and then bending the knees and taking a seat. Opening up the hips, the lower back a little bit, do your mudasana, do mudasana three, and turn around. Bring the left knee up, cross it behind the right, widening the feet apart. And taking a seat, you can take some height, blankets, blocks, and then try to widen the feet apart. You'll be feeling it in that right hip already. Coming forward, inhale, exhale, fingertips firm on the floor, arms straight, not bent, not passive. We want to use the arms like legs, they give support. So as you push into the fingertips, you can then push the hips back as the trunk comes forward. So two lines of energy, forward and backwards, backwards and forward. See if you can lower the chin on that front knee. Soft, smooth inhalations and exhalations. Now utilizing the breath, so on the inhale, really feel the broadness coming to the back, and on the exhale, push into the fingertips to push the hips and buttocks back. And then walking our hands back in, coming back onto the hands and knees so that we can change sides. Right knee behind the left, wide the feet apart, preparing a little space for the hips to come back, either on the mat or on support, and then see if you can move the feet a little bit forward and have them in line with each other. Coming forward, inhale, traveling with the exhale, Diffusing it through the vehicle as we come forward, extending the arms. Make sure your forearms aren't dropping. Lift them up, firm the elbows, and turn the inner elbows to the sky. And feel how that broadens each shoulder away from the ears. Deep, smooth inhalations and deep, pacifying exhalations. and utilizing the breath in different ways. So the inhale, exploring the broadness of the back, the fullness, and with the exhale, pressing into the fingertips and pushing the hips back. And then walking the hands back in and releasing. Other one Kashasan, heels against the wall, but the feet together. So lining the feet up, spreading the toes, push the front ankles back, feel the heels get firm, the knees get firm, push the front thighs back. Press into the heel of your hands and push yourselves away from the heels of the hands, feeling the armpit area open. Now relax the neck, relax the back of the head. And now we're going to lift the left leg. So lifting the leg, straightening it out straight behind us, turn the toes under, find the wall. And push into the heels of the hands to push yourself away from the hands, opening the chest towards that right front thigh.
And now we're going to step that left leg forward and lower the back heel to the ground so that it's touching the floor and the wall. Grip the legs. Feel this front kneecap grip up with the quadricep. Feel the curve of the back thigh iron backwards to the thigh bone. The heel firm and the wall pressing back against the heel. And then with the exhale, streaming, lowering the head, finding that final space of depth and holding presence in that space. And then looking up and stepping back, Adho Mukha Shanasana, feet together. Now lifting the right leg up, rolling that lifted leg into the kneecap faces the wall, the thigh is rolled in like a Vigabha Dasana, three back leg, back leg. Find the heels of the hands, press into them, pushing ourselves away from the hands towards the front of the left thigh, the armpits opening, and try to press the shoulder blades forward to further open the armpit chest. And now stepping the right leg forward and lowering the back foot so the heel presses to the ground and back against the wall. Grip this front kneecap and the thigh up and iron the curve of the back thigh to the thigh bone. Feel the difference it makes, the heel connecting with the wall, the wall pressing back. Inhale and exhale, coming in. The hands walking forward and the fingertips pressing so that the weight of the pose can move back. Then looking up and stepping back to Adam and feet together. And then bending the knees and coming to child's pose for some shoulder openers after that. Relax everything. Anticipate nothing, just completely relax into the ground with the exhale. And now bring the hands behind the back, interlock the fingers together, tips of the thumbs pressing against each other, and straighten the arms and place the forehead right in the middle on the mat, lifting the arms up, slowly the breath down, press into the tops of all ten toes, press into the tops of your feet, the shins, Keep trying to lengthen your collarbones, which is going to ensure that your front shoulders don't drop to the ground, that they're rolling back open, the arms lifting higher.
And now we're going to invert the hands so that we're pressing the heels of the hands up towards the sky. And reel all those front shoulders back. You'll feel it even more when we're pressing the heels of the hands up. And then turn the hands back in. And as you bring the arms down, just remember which little pinky is underneath. So that when we come to change sides, you can change that from the little pinky. Child's pose, Balasana. Relax the face. Relax the neck. Relax the shoulders. Bringing the hands behind again, changing the interlock with the other little pinky below. Press the thumbs against each other, stretch the arms, and visualize the starting point of the arms being the center of the chest. So try to create spaciousness in the center of the chest and extend to the right and the left from there. The collarbones lengthening, the front shoulders rolling back, the arms lifting higher and higher. Press into the feet, into the shins as you lift the arms up higher and higher. And now we're going to invert the hands. So turn the palms up to the sky, press up through the heels of the hands and get even more opening in the front shoulders. Even more ability to roll the front shoulders up to the sky. And travel that action through the arms, out through the heels of the hands. And then turning the hands back in. And releasing with an exhale, entering child's pose. Rolling back up. Back to Adho Mukha with the feet together and the heels against the wall. Having just opened the shoulders, you'll feel a difference in the armpits and the chest and then your ability to press the shoulder blades into the upper back to open the front body and the side ribs. Now let's lift the left leg up again, finding the wall. And this time we're going to walk our hands closer to the wall, climbing the foot up the wall as we get closer as needed, the legs as straight as possible. Look at that front kneecap, grip the kneecap and the thigh up, and feel the curve of the thigh of the lifted leg and iron it to the thigh bone. Press into the heels of the hands, pushing yourselves away from the heels of the hands and closer to the front thigh. And now the last little bit, try to press the right heel down to the mat. Keep gripping the legs, opening the chest. And looking up, walking the hands forward and lowering the leg. Adhukashvanasa. Re relax the face, the corners of the lips, the front throat. Make sure the back of the neck is long. And now the right leg lifting. And walking the hands closer, keeping the legs straight and so climbing that right foot up. Now look at your left kneecap and grip it up, grip the quadricep up, feel the difference in the leg. And now feel your lifted leg and iron the curve of the front thigh to the bone. Feel the leg activate even more. Press into the heels of the hands, push yourselves closer and closer. And now for the final bit, press that heel down, re-whip the legs. 
Trying to hold that space a few more breaths. And then looking up, walking the hands forward and lowering the legs, bending the knees and coming back down. Okay, let's take a blanket for some twists. Be using the wall. So a little bit of height, arms distance away. Sweet Right ankle across in front of the left. Widening those sit bones so that we're sitting on the inner edge of the sit bones. And turning to the right. The left palm presses the right hand against the wall, walking back. Lift the chest up. Don't let it collapse, collapse down. Keep pressing into the hand on the thigh to twist and lift the chest up. Now turn your head away from the wall, but keep turning to the right. And now turn your head back to the wall. And now center. And now up. And now down. And down. Back to the front. Lift the chest, lower the chin. Deep inhalation. Deep exhalation. Changing the cross of the ankles. Rewinding our sit bones, pulling them back so we feel that we're sitting on the inner edge of the sit bone. Turning to the left, palm of the right hand pressing, and the left hand coming back to the wall. Each inhale lengthens, each exhale turns. Now turn your head to the right. And keep turning the trunk to the left, lifting the chest. And now to the left. And now to the centre. And lift the chin, lift the chest. And then chin down. Releasing. Deep inhalation, deep exhalation, neutralizing, feeling. And coming out. Right, moving this blanket just to the side now. Coming to lie down on our backs. Now you could always take support blocks for the outer thighs. Balakonasana. And we want to lift the hips up. And roll the front shoulders back to reach for the ankles. Gripping and holding the front ankles as we lower the buttocks down. Tilt the pelvis, so buttocks moving towards the heels and coming down. So this means we really have to roll those front shoulders open. Feel the length of our collarbones and the center of the chest broadening in a 360 degree Circumference, a broadening circle, radiating in all directions. Regular smooth, Ujjayi one breath. Keep pressing the feet against each other and keep the buttocks moving towards the heels. Now with each inhale, exploring, feeling the broadness of the chest, the lungs, the ribs. And with each exhale, pacifying the abdominal area, 
feeling it recede, feeling it move down, deflate towards the ground. Releasing the hands, extending the arms out diagonally. The buttocks still moving towards the heels. And now rolling over to the right hand side and pushing ourselves back up. Alright, time to rest up and do the version at the same time. So, Vipadi Thakkarani, we're using our blanket and using the wall. Coming in. And the legs coming up. And then with your hands, hold your right leg and Roll the leg open. So the inner groin goes to the outer groin, the inner knee to the outer knee, the inner ankle to the outer ankle. Now with the left, the same thing. And then each shoulder rolling back and each shoulder blade pressing up. The arms then extending diagonally away. And the energy of the hands is such that the little pinkies should be moving naturally towards the thumbs. And then the eyelids closing and resting here. Thank you. 
And stand gently, lifting the hands and moving them to rest on the lower abdomen. The eyelids flickering open. And the feet gently sliding down the wall. Push ourselves a little bit backwards. Rolling over to the right and coming out. Let's just end our practice together. Sukhasana. Folding the palms together, giving thanks. Loka Samasta Sukino Pafantu. Om Shanti Shanti Shanti. We are truly finished, practice complete and always body, mind, heart, soul. Namaste. Thanks for being here today and to look forward to seeing you again soon. Take care.